first time actors, you know, it's always like it's always a fun thing because uh, like everything is like an awesome experience, um, which it it is a lot of fun. But you know, things go on. You you work with them and you try and make them comfortable as possible. And you know, we all have fun in the end. Lisa Fox uh, was uh, Frank's. Uh, leading lady for the trailer. She played his uh, wife, Joe Sutton's wife, in the trailer. Um, she was really, she was great to work with because she was one of the act actresses, actors that had no experience. She was a challenge to direct for us to get what we needed because she was very self-conscious. But we were able to break her from that and we were able to get what we needed from her. And uh, I think for her, it was a great experience. Yeah. And uh, most valuable? I'd like to volunteer, um, who's, who's that gi gigantic guy? Uh, that's Big Bob. Oh uh, yeah, Big Bob, probably most valuable. Um, one, for being just a tremendous human being, and uh, also for being a human tow truck. I met Bob, uh, who we also affectionately call the tow truck. Um, I met him, he's my postmaster um, uh, in Amityville, Long Island, at the, uh, the post office. Wonderful man. The gentleman, and would, he did everything and anything for us. And again, I'd like to say probably because he's not an actor by a trade. So, where's that? So, now, do you improvise? Yeah, I mean, not you have the script, but then on your own, do you like try outside it? of the Shakespearean stuff? Yeah, yeah. Thomas Daniel, um, an actor and uh, probably my best friend. Uh, he was helping with the behind the scenes footage. He was also playing my main bodyguard, uh, which is called Mason. We don't hear his name, but we just see him. Tom is extremely talented. I worked with Tom, and again, I've known him for years. Uh, it was a great benefit uh, watching my back and uh, having him there on set. You know, we decided to make this game while, while, while we were you know on set and off set and whatever, and uh, decided to play hide the beer can in Andy's stuff because Andy Roth is very neurotic about. Um, He's very neurotic about being clean. So, yeah. and, Andy doesn't know this, but in this room, there are a combined seven items of garbage which are going to drive him nuts. All right, you're confessing? Yes, I'm confessing. So if he finds this, it's you had not, nothing to do with I, it. I know about it, but I may or may not have anything to do with this. So anyway, we, uh, you know, as we would finish our beers, we would either crush them or just kind of start stashing them all over his bedroom and all over his house um, and dryers and shoes and jewelry cases and toilets and pretty much anything where you could hide a beer can. Tomorrow is a huge event. I'm actually a uh, little, we'll, I don't even know. I mean, we maybe have 50 more extras. Uh, we'll have a 67 foot yacht with a boat captain employed coming to the set. Uh, a huge amount of uh, a 12 million dollar mansion I have somebody bringing in a vintage Excalibur so I'm uh, you know today was a great way to start what tomorrow will bring